Hey everybody, welcome back to our study on DHCP. This is part two of the DHCP videos. If you're here, you're probably studying for your Cisco CCNA or you just want to learn more about networking. Remember, DHCP is the dynamic host configuration protocol. It's the networking protocol that's responsible for leasing out IP addresses to devices on the network. Even your phone's getting an IP address from DHCP, probably from your home router or your cellular provider, right? And, you know, remember, DHCP is, is awesome because it makes IT's job easier, but it also makes it so that users don't have to worry about IP addressing. Let's go ahead and look at in more depth the process behind DHCP called DORA. So I want you to remember that popular acronym. DORA stands for Discover, Offer, Request, Acknowledge. Let's study that process a bit. So in your packet tracer topology, flip over to simulation mode, make sure that DHCP is selected in your list of filters and that'd be the only protocol you want to look at right now. Then go into your PC Make sure that PC goes and requests an IP. So one of the first things that a PC does when it boots up is it asks for an IP address. It generates a discover message. And essentially what that discover message is, is the PC going, hey, is there a DHCP server out there? So when it does that, it sends that message off to the switch. That, that switch processes that floods it out of all ports except for the one it received it on, that server, the DHCP server, and if there is one on the network, it will receive that, that discover, and the, the DHCP server will then generate an offer message, which basically looks like, hey, client that was requesting an IP address, I'm a DHCP server, here are some of my options. So then it goes ahead and it delivers that option list or that you know information regarding its leases out all all the ports of the requesting devices right so this one received it it then generated the client then generated a request it said oh cool then i need an ip address and the the server receives that um request and sends back an acknowledge you know what that acknowledges is essentially hey client here's your ip address right and then after it receives that the client receives that acknowledge it has an ip and we can verify that not only by seeing that check but we can also see that the client itself has the ip give me some time here and we'll see there right there that ip address has been received successfully cool right so remember this is the thing you really need to know is the client generates a discover sends it out to the server the server the DHCP server creates an offer message sends that back the client does a request sends it to the server the server doesn't acknowledge so that's DHCP in the next video we're gonna cover HTTP, which is the language of the web or the transport protocol for the language of the web. In addition to that, I want to take a slight detour and talk about client server. So check that out in the next video.